everyone, this is Adel from Ozone Engineering and this video I'll show you how to use the Eigen mode solver in HVSS. So we'll compute the uh, frequency and Q factor of this imported coaxial resonator. First ensure that you are selecting the, the right solution type. So go to HVSS, solution type and select Eigen mode. As you can see the model is currently set to vacuum. So uh, I'll start by assigning a finite conductivity boundary to define the cavity walls as silver. So I'll select the model, right click, go to assign boundary, and click finite conductivity. Here I'll change the conductivity to 6.1 e to the 7, and click OK. Now in the project manager, under boundaries, we can find our finite conductivity boundary. The eigenmode solver does not require any defined sources. You specify the number of modes to compute and the convergence criteria. So let's add solution setup. Right click on analysis and click add solution setup. Here I set the minimum frequency to 1.1 GHz and we will calculate only the first mode. I'll change the maximum number of passes to 20 and the maximum delta frequency per pass to 0.01%. And in the adaptive options tab, I'll change the minimum converged passes to 2. To ensure maximum accuracy, we'll change the initial mesh settings. So let's go to Mesh, right click on it, and select Initial Mesh Settings. Here we'll apply curvilinear meshing and increase the resolution. Now we can run a validation check. and run the simulation by clicking Analyze All. Once the solution is complete, the results can be accessed by right-clicking on Setup 1, Eigenmode Data, and here you can see the real and imaginary parts of the frequency and the Q-factor. The results can also be displayed in a tabular report. Here I'll create some output variables first, so right-click on Results, go to output variables. The first variable is the frequency in gigahertz. We'll call it mode 1 F for frequency. Click add. And the second variable is uh, Q. I would call it mode 1 here I click add and done now right click on results go to create eigenmode parameters report and select data table here we we'll select output variables and select both frequency and Q and click new report and here we can see in this table the frequency and Q factor Let's also plot the frequency and Q values for each solution pass up to conversions. So right click on results, create eigenmode parameters report, rectangular plot. Here we'll change the solution to adaptive pass and select output variables, select F and Q and click new report. Let's put Q on a different Y axis, so select Q Go to Y axis and select Y2. Let's also make some field plots on the cross section. So expand planes and select the YZ plane. Right click, go to plot fields, E, Mac E, and click done. And here's our electric field. To plot the magnetic field, we do the same. Select the YZ plane, right click, go to Plot Fields, H, Mag H, and click that. Here I'll hide the electric field, so right click on Mag E and uncheck Plot Visibility. And here's our magnetic field. Now let's hide it and plot the mesh on the YZ plane. So I'll select it, right click, and click Plot Mesh. 
here I'll click done and here you can see the mesh on the YZ plane in this video we saw how to use the eigenmod solver in HSS to compute the frequency and Q factor of coax solar generator. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.